Hello, welcome to video 5.3, part two. We're gonna continue our introduction to polynomials. I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. Uh, in our previous video, we started discussing a vocabulary related to po polynomials. In fact, we learned what a monomial is. A monomial is a product of numbers and variables or powers of variables. Like this first expression right here. This is nine times uh, x to the six times y squared. This is multiplication, nine times x to the six times y squared. And then it, together it makes a monomial. To find the degree, you add the variables on the exponents. So here six plus two is eight. So this monomial has degree eight. And the coefficient is the number that's multiplying the variables. The coefficient is nine. On this one, well, we want to find the degree. B doesn't have an exponent, so we can think of it as one. Same with C. So the degree would be one plus one plus two, which is four. The coefficient is negative five. All right, for this monomial, well, there's only one variable and one exponent. The exponent is 10 and the coefficient is four. Remember that if you have variables with no number in front, the coefficient counts as one. All right, well, how about this one? It's just a number or a constant, but that's a monomial too. The degree is kind of tricky. It doesn't have a variable. So we're gonna put degree zero. Kind of the reason why is we can think of this as 16 x to the zeroth power since x to the zero is one. It doesn't have any variables at all. Degree zero. The coefficient is just 16. So again, if a variable doesn't have an exponent, it's degree one. We can assume this to the first power. If it doesn't have a variable at all, the degree is zero. All right, we want to learn a couple new things today. Uh, monomials are kind of like building blocks. We use them to build binomials and trinomials and, and in general polynomials. So here we have a whole bunch of monomials we can use as building blocks. So we want to make, use these to make a binomial. We can use any of them. Uh, I'm going to use the first two. So a binomial, bi means two, has, is the sum of two monomials. So to build a binomial, we can do 10 x to the six. Then we can add or subtract another monomial, four. So to build binomials and the other ones, we add or subtract monomials. To build a trinomial, that means three. Three monomials. Well, I'm gonna use the next three. How about that? Three x squared, all right? I can put plus or minus. I'm gonna put minus this time minus nine x to the fourth. That's a binomial so far. I need one more for a trinomial. So let's take plus this time, plus x. All right, each of these monomials is called a term. So if we have a polynomial or binomial or trinomial, the terms are the monomials that build it. All right. If it has two terms, it's a binomial. If it has three terms, it's a trinomial. If it has four or more, we just call it a polynomial. Poly means many. Actually, they're all polynomials, but if it has four terms, there's no special name for it. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna take the next four. Seven x squared minus six x minus 19 plus x cubed. This has four terms. All right. A trinomial, another one. Uh, I'm just gonna pick three of the terms. Four plus nine x to the fourth plus x cubed. There we go, that's a trinomial. Um, a binomial, I just need two. How about negative 19 plus three x squared? Has two monomials. When you add or subtract them, binomial. All right, a six degree polynomial. That means the highest exponent is six. So I'm gonna to have to use 10 X to the six. And then we just wanted a polynomial. So I'm gonna add some other terms, plus four plus X plus X cubed. All right, uh, in general, it's a polynomial because it has four or more terms. 
All right, well, let's see here. On here, uh, we're supposed to classify what kind of polynomial it is, right? The degree of the terms and then the degree of the polynomial. So this is a binomial. It has two, uh, it has two terms. The first one has degree, term has degree three. The second one has degree five. I'll just add the exponents on each of the terms. Now the degree of the whole polynomial is the degree of the highest term. So five is the highest degree we have. All right, this is a trinomial. I don't like to write, so I'm just gonna write tri. Uh, the first term has degree two, second one, one. The last term is a constant, zero. The highest degree I see is two, so that's the degree of the whole thing. This one has two terms. It's a binomial, and the degrees of the terms are one, I think the first one's six, and the second one, three, so the degree is six. Oh, this is just one monomial by itself. There's no plus or minus, it's just a monomial. So this is a monomial. And the degree is four, and there's only one term, so that's the degree of the whole polynomial. This one's a binomial. Um, degree of the terms, first one, degree one. The second one is degree zero, so the whole thing has degree one. And this last one is a trinomial. Uh, the degrees are four, three, and one, and the largest degree is four. All right. I have one last thing to talk to you about. Um, we want to find the degree of the following polynomials and we want to find what's called the leading coefficient. All right, so I got to look for the term. This has three terms with the largest exponent. This is the leading term. All right, so the degree is two because that's the largest exponent any of the terms have. And the leading coefficient is the number of multiplying that variable. Think of it as negative seven. All right, this is the term with the largest exponent. The degree is three. The leading coefficient is one. Uh, this one's not in order. As I look through here, the largest degree has this one, degree four and leading coefficient negative one. They're not always in order. All right, this one, uh, that term has the highest degree, three, and the leading coefficient is negative 10. All right, there's only one term, degree six, coefficient three. Oh, here's a constant one. The degree is zero, and the number itself is the leading coefficient. The term is just a number, so uh, that's all we have. All right, that was kind of quick, but that's an introduction to some vocabulary we use with polynomials. Good luck.